This is the second in a series of videos explaining how to install the three-phase inverter with Synergy technology up to 120 kilowatts. In this video, you'll learn various wiring procedures. Let's begin by connecting Synergy units to a Synergy manager. All operations are performed using the Synergy manager. There is no reason at all to open any of the Synergy units. Locate the Synergy Manager cables that are intended for the left-sided Synergy unit. Each cable has a label clearly indicating the corresponding Synergy unit. It's important to connect the Synergy Manager cables to the respective Synergy units, to ensure that the Synergy units are correctly recognized by the supporting system software. Connect the DC cables to the DC plus and DC minus connectors. Then connect the communication cable to the communication connector. Make sure that the arrow on the cable is facing you, to avoid any damage to the pins. When connecting the AC cable, pay attention to the two pin alignment guides. Match them with the two pin alignment grooves on the AC connector and push the cable in. Next, rotate the AC cable connector clockwise to fasten it and use the supplied locking ring to secure the connection. Repeat this same process for the remaining Synergy units. Now it's time to connect the DC cables to the Synergy Manager. First let's see how to remove the Synergy Manager cover. Make sure that power isn't connected before you touch the cover. If your Synergy Manager has a DC safety switch, ensure that it's in the off position. Then, loosen the six screw bolts. And gently remove the cover. If your Synergy Manager is equipped with MC4 connectors, simply connect the DC cables from each string to the respective MC4 connectors according to the labels at the bottom of the Synergy Manager. Note that there are 4 DC plus and 4 DC minus connectors per each Synergy unit. If your Synergy Manager has DC glands at the bottom, follow these steps. Insert each DC cable into the respective DC gland. Note that there is one DC plus gland and one DC minus gland per Synergy unit. Loosen the terminal block screw nuts and washers. Place compression lugs on each DC plus and DC minus cable. Secure the cable to the relevant DC terminal blocks in accordance to the terminal blocks labels. Use a 5.7 newton meter torque screwdriver. We've now completed the DC connections. Let's move on to the AC and ground connections. First, remove the AC terminal protective cover, then locate AC terminal blocks for line 1, line 2, line 3, neutral, and the protective earth terminal. If you have a 5-wire AC cable with the protective earth wire inside, follow these steps. Locate the AC gland. Open the AC gland connector and lower it over the cable. Insert the AC cable through the gland. Note that if your AC cable is above 50 mm, remove the inner seal from the AC gland before inserting the cable. We recommend connecting the protective earth wire first, before connecting the rest of the AC wires. Loosen the protective earth terminal fixation screw, drag the protective earth wire to its terminal, and use a 15 newton meter screwdriver to tighten the wire. Next, place one hole compression lugs and shrinks on four of the AC wires. The lugs must be a maximum width of 33 mm, a maximum thickness of 7 mm and a bolt hole size of 10 mm. Then, connect the wires with the lugs and shrinks to the terminal blocks in the following sequence, neutral, line 3, line 2, and line 1. Loosen the terminal block screw nuts and washes, place the lug, and secure the wires to the terminal blocks with a torque wrench of 21 newton meter. Once complete, place the protective cover of the AC terminals back on. Now close the AC gland connector. If you have a separate protective earth cable, insert it using the dedicated protective earth gland and connect it to the protective earth terminal in the same way as it was shown earlier. Now it's time to configure the inverter communications. We'll start by setting the monitoring communications. Use one of the following connectivity methods to monitor your inverter online. Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Cellular. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to connect the Ethernet cable. To start, you can use a shielded Ethernet CAT6 cable or above. Locate the two communication glands at the bottom of the Synergy Manager. 
Open the communication gland one, remove the seal, then remove one of the white plugs from the seal and insert the cable through the opening. Next, insert the seal with the cable back to the communication gland one. Crimp the RJ45 connector and plug the cable into the RJ45 socket located on the left side of the communication board. Then close communication gland one and plug the other side of the ethernet cable into the ethernet router. Your inverter is connected now to the internet. If you have multiple inverters or devices on site you need to set the RS485 connection to enable the site communications. Let's see how it's done. Locate the RS485 terminals. Then prepare a CAT6 or above 3 wire shielded twisted pair cable. Open the communication gland 2, remove the seal, and remove one of the white plugs from the seal. Insert the cable through the opening. Next, insert the seal with the cable back to the communication gland 2. Then pull out the RS485 terminal block and insert the cable wires into the B, A and G terminals. We recommend using the blue cable for terminal B, a white blue cable for terminal A, and an orange cable for terminal G. Tighten the pin screws and check the wires are fully inserted so they cannot be pulled out easily. Then push the terminal block back into its place and close the communication gland too. Connect the other end of the RS485 to the next inverter in the bus and continue daisy chaining the inverters until you've connected the last inverter. And lastly, move the SW1 termination to the on position of the first and last inverter. Now it's time to place the Synergy Manager cover back on. First, attach the Synergy Manager cover, and then use the 3.5 Newton meter torque screwdriver to tighten the six screw bolts in the following sequence. Top center, bottom center, top left, bottom right, top right, and finally bottom left. You're all set. Please join us in the next video of this series, where we will show you how to pre-commission the three-phase inverter with Synergy technology up to 120 kilowatts.